What up guys, it's 8 a.m. in the morning and it's already hype at the bear house and part of the Barber Brigade staff are over here. The rest of the family are on their way but they're late and we're up so early because today is the IPF World Championships which is the powerlifting I mean, which is the Olympics of powerlifting, and one of the Barbell Brigade athletes, Bryce Lewis, is competing and lifting. And uh, because it's in Minsk, Belarus, uh, or Belarus, Minsk, we have to time our time zone with their time zone. He's lifting at 6, and so we have to be up at 8 a.m. So I've been up since like 7 something. Oh, cool, there's a Chinese. A uh, Taiwanese lifter. But he looks. He doesn't look traditional yeah. Taiwanese. Ooh. He does not look Chinese at all. So Sen Yang now, Chinese type power the next Okay. You know he's only 23? A bit small. And he already squats over 600 pounds. What are you doing? Why are you not representing Taiwan like this? I know. I would represent the U.S. What are you talking about? You can't about? even do that. <laughs> U.S. is too strong to be honest. I know. That's I'm like at least Taiwan. Get on the board. Oh man. Go Taiwan. Come on Taiwan. Yep, yep, yep. All right. There we go. Damn, what's going on, dude? Dude, our athletes about to win the world championship. Oh my goodness. Is it Bryce Lewis's turn yet? No. Oh, he's about to lift soon. Bryce hit his uh, opener. He hit his opener, dude. God damn it. What are you owing about? Ant and Evan have their computers here because they're trying to buy Yeezys too. Did you guys end up getting it? Not yet. It hasn't done anything yet but lose pages. Just slowly getting terminated. I hope I get one. Are you trying to buy Yeezys too? No. Yeah, you are. I'm not. It's not the same thing. If I don't get it, can I have it? <laughs> All right, waiting for Bryce. <laughs> waiting for Bryce. You know, it'd be really cool if one day uh, powerlifting does make it into Olympics. Then people can dream really, really high, and they can really take their goals into the gym, like to a global level. That'd be so cool. Yeah, it's smooth. I give it very smooth. I mean, if you didn't train for this type of speed, you fucked. Yeah, and the referees are extra strict. Compared to normal meat. We'll see your result come through from the jury. Where's Bryce at? Uh, that's good that he's coming later and later. That he's getting heavier and heavier. Yeah. Overall, that's good. So he's been given that lift. Uh, uh, it's not a really lift. He's been overruled. He got the lift. This guy from Poland. There's two different types of set of records. Yeah. Poland and Great Britain, they usually are pretty strong. They give America a uh, huge run for their money. What's, what's the worst they can say is no? You know what I mean? Uh, you got, you might as well throw it out there. So here is the pole who's good. He's right in speed. the middle. She she ah, oh, oh, nice. Nice. What was that? So right down here, they'll tell you if they made the lift. Oh, nice. That means they hit depth and they hit all their commands. And we were saying, if you can rack up a subtotal, a base to which Where's Bryce at? Of, my God, this is totally going to be something Damn! Yay, Bryce! Second attempt. He's going for pretty much 666 or 665. Let's go, Bryce! Let's go. We've seen you hit this in the gym before. What do you think, Fani? You think he's gonna get it? All right. Let's go, Bryce. Let's go, Bryce. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Three white lights, of course. Awesome. Bryce is killing it. It's Bryce's third attempt. He's going for 312 kilos. What's the math on that, babe? Oh, shit. 687. Let's go, Bryce. The foot medals are on next. This is yeah. crazy. And this is what we're saying. This is what Bryce does very yeah. quietly. Yeah. Works away at it. Final attempt for Bryce. Let's go. 687 on his back. Bryce! Nice! Oh, 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 nice. 
That is awesome. Yes. Three whites. Three whites. So deep. I didn't think he was gonna pull over that. That's awesome. Yeah. You better believe next year Bar uh, Bryce is going to wear a Barber Brigade singlet and t-shirt. I'll tell you guys why later on in the year too. So Bryce has been doing great so far. He went 3-4-3 three, three on the squat, 3-4-3 three, three on the bench. And those aren't even his best lifts. <clears throat> God damn. <laughs> hey. He's going into the deadlifts now. And that's his strong point. So I think they're rating him at second or third. I think he can take first if he kills it on the deadlift and everything goes good. So we'll see what happens. All right, so this is the last deadlift attempt. And Bryce is gonna do 792 and Gio's are back there doing the IG story. Let's go, Bryce. Let's go, Bryce. Brett Gibbs. Let's go. 792. I know they take my time now, so. Let's go, Bryce. Stick it to the pole. Stick it to the pole, come on. Alright, Bryce. Come on, you got this. Let's go, Bryce. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. That was so good. Oh. oh, that was still good though. Damn. Damn. Thought it was going up. Replay. So you know what that means? The pole has officially already won. Damn. Okay. Damn. Yeah. What do you think he got now? Silver? Gold? silver. Donut. That's not bad. He placed at a world yeah, stage. This Polish guy is crazy. He's going for what is that? 880? Holy guaca fucking moly. <laughs> fucking Poland, dude. God damn. Fuck it. Let's go, Poland. <laughs> Let's go, Poland. That's so crazy. So the guys in this weight class are, I think, 230, and this guy's about to pull 880, and this is a drug-tested federation. 80, dude. Every camera. Holy moly. So classy. It's time for the totals to see where people placed. Garrett Blevins, which is a USA teammate of Bryce's, got bronze. This is Bryce's first time at Worlds and he got silver. That's awesome. Shake those hands. Silver. Get that free swag. Look at his face. So happy. So awesome. Who's that guy? Yeah, this guy is the fucking beast. No problem. I know, that's so crazy, isn't it? <laughs> and with every Barbell Brigade get together, you know we got a barbecue. What do you have there, Nadim? The tomahawk steak that my friend Aunt got me. This is a nice piece of meat. That thing looks huge. All right, fuck, I don't know how to do this. So half of it is, uh, is lit and it's pretty close, so it's pretty high heat. And then uh, this side, it's will be low heat. All right. Let me do this for a second. Oh, you're gonna put it straight on the. You're gonna put it on the cool. fire? Yeah. Damn, dude. Dude, you're dangerous. I guess right off. Hey, you gotta put those back. Oh, oof. I have my signature recipe, and you just ruined it. 
I've you never sure you know done what this you're before. Doing? No, I have no idea. Okay, this is your first time? Yeah. Isn't this like a $200 cut of meat that you're just goofing around with? Yeah. Oh shit. Hopefully it turns out bomb then. Hopefully. Hopefully it's hot enough. I mean, it should be fat. Dogs love bones. Yeah. <laughs> Time to serve the food. Feels good, go fast. Try and snort these lucky charms. Does it look good? Eh? Does it look good? Okay. Your sauce is really good, Nats. Thank you. I messed it up because the fire. Who wants to go first? Don't be shy, just go grab it. You guys are crazy. Stop being so Asian, dude. You guys are so Asian. Do I serve you some? You serve yourself. Uh, you can serve me some. Oh, you're probably gonna need a spoon for the collard green. No. Oh, there's another one with holes that has. That's gonna take forever. That's what the That works. I'm gonna have to take a pill. Imagine if you could forget about taking your birth control every day. Yeah, just get pregnant. <laughs> This first time I ever made collard greens, hopefully it's good. It looks good. The food looks like it turned out pretty good. It at least looks, it at least looks very colorful. It's a nice green on the collard greens. Looks still kind of like half raw, half cooked. The meat turned out good. Are you excited? Yeah, this one's yours. Okay, got you. Oh yes, getting drunk off my beer. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm such an alcoholic. Oh, you hear that? Hell yeah. Can you try the collard green to see how yeah, that yeah, turned out? Yeah. Really? Really good. Awesome. What a awesome family dinner. Supporting our friend that got silver medal. And now we're eating World's food, get it? <laughs> God damn it. No one laughed. What? <laughs> <laughs> I am back at the car dealership again because the time has finally come. I have to turn this guy in. I had such a fun time with you for the past couple of years, Mr. Porsche. But we already got a new car. It's time to be a dad, the lease is up. So um, I do have a couple of, uh, what is it called? Sentimental thoughts. This was like the first nice car I ever bought. It was super dope, it was stick shift. But now it's moving on to bigger and better things. And I hope that you will make someone else very, very, very happy one day because you made me very happy and all of my friends happy. I taught my friends how to drive stick in it. I let almost every one of my friends drive it. So uh, you brought so many people happiness. I love you, Mr. Guy. I love you so much. Now it's time for you to go back to your family and be happy there. I feel like I'm letting go of an animal of some sort. It's so funny. Oh, it's my bear. My bear. Ooh. Yeah. Do you feel sad? Nope. No, oh, man. 
I, I was saying that it feels like I'm letting go of like an animal back into nature where I'm like join your family and be fun and happy with them. I think your car now is a more suitable choice. This was a, like a rite of passage for you. Like, yeah. yes, I've made it. I can achieve what I want. Yeah. The other ones like now I get to play with my toys. Yeah. So it's a good chapter. This it is fun. a good chapter. Glad we got to test it out. We got to experience it. Now we can both say we've uh, driven and played with the Porsche. Yeah. Now it's time for the fun stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's one big thing I actually forgot. Um, so when me and Joe first started JK, my dream car was a Corvette and Joe's dream car was a Challenger. So the Porsche meant not only like, oh, cool, I can buy whatever I want, but we actually surpassed our own goals. So it has that sentimental value for me where I wanted a Corvette and then uh, when JK started blowing up, I was like, oh shit, why didn't I shoot higher? You know, like I, I, I said I wanted a Corvette, but now I could buy like three of them. So I'm like, I'm gonna get a Porsche instead. And then uh, same thing with Joey, I'm getting a Jaguar instead of a Challenger. So Mr. Porsche, you brought me a lot of uh, motivation and drive. Now it's on to the next one. There wasn't too much else to vlog after we returned the car. Me and Mom Barry came back, took a nap. And then uh, we just spent some time watching a movie. Uh, just relaxing, kind of enjoying our weekend. What did we watch? We watched, uh, what movie was it? Oh, The Founder with Ray Kroc. It's the, it's the uh, McDonald's story. That was a really, really good movie. And then also afterwards, uh, we watched a stand-up special with Hassan Minaj, and that was really good. In my opinion, that's easily one of the best stand-ups I've ever seen. Awesome writer, great craftsman. I think he'll work on his delivery. It was kind of rushed, but... His writing ability for that stand-up, I think it's it's up there with the greats. Like easily one of the top ten stand-ups I've seen. So hats off to him. I think he killed it. I think he's going to be something special. And he just told his story in a very very JK way. You know, like our JK motto is teaching good things in a bad way. And I think that's exactly what he did. He taught so many dope lessons through his own personal experience in a very very funny way. So hats off to you, Hassan. I thought it was really awesome. Um, it's 11.40 now, so I'm getting kind of tired. I'm going to go to sleep. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.